let it rain. Good morning, saints. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Sing it. Open the floodgates of heaven. Sing it to the Lord. Let it rain. Let it rain on us this morning, Lord. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost be poured out on us this morning. Let the favor of God descend upon your people this morning. Lord, we love you this morning. Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. Come on, just lift your hands to heaven with me and let's worship our God this morning. The floodgates of heaven. Sing it with me, church. Let it rain. Let it rain this morning. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Open the floodgates of heaven. We need it, Lord. Let it rain. Let it rain, Jesus. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Open the floodgates of heaven. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, dear God, as we are about to dig into the Word of God, speak to your people this morning. Minister to them from the oldest to the youngest, God. Bring direction into their lives. Bring strength. Bring courage. Bring healing. Lift every cloud of frustration, God. God, somebody listening to this broadcast just feel, feels confused. Bring clarity. Lord David said, your word, O oh Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Minister to your people. Lord, we put our trust in you. Open the floodgates of heaven in the name of Jesus. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Open the floodgates of heaven. Oh, speak to us this morning. Good morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. Listen, this is what I want to talk to you about this morning. God will deliver you out of them all. I don't care what trouble it is that you're facing in your life. I'm telling you by the word of the Lord on this morning, God will deliver you out of them all. Oh, me and my wife, we have been battling something. Amen. For seven months, a little, just a little, a little longer than seven months, eight months. And the Holy Ghost gave us the victory. Oh, glory to God. There ain't nothing as sweet as victory. There's nothing like winning when God gives you the breakthrough and he brings the answer to your prayer. Listen to what David said in the book of Psalms, chapter, chapter 34, verses 17 through 19. Listen to what David said. My God, my God, my God. I don't know about you, but I love the word of God. Listen to what David said. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Wow. Listen to this. The word troubles right there means to have a rival. You Have you ever had a rival? Oh, I have. It means tightness. Have you ever been in a tight place where it just seems like you did not know which way to turn? The apostle Paul been in places like that. Are you listening to me? He's been in a tight place. Wow. Now watch this. The word troubles also mean adversary, to have an adversary. You know, the Bible calls the devil our adversary. The Bible says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, goes about like a roaring lion seeking those whom he may devour. So if you are saved, if you're full of the Holy Ghost, if you've been washing the blood, of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you love God with all of your heart, mind, soul, body, and strength, guess what? You have an adversary. His name is called Satan. Jesus called him a liar, a deceiver, 
the accuser of the brethren. But I got good news for you this morning. I don't care what the devil have been coming up against you with. The Holy Ghost has given you the word this morning. God will deliver you out of them all. God's bringing you into a new season. Some of us have already entered in to the new season. We have entered into our promised land. The Bible says if you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. God's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should have to repent. That's Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. If God said it, he'll make it good. If he spoke it, he'll bring the thing to pass. Now watch this. That word troubles also, it means an adversary. It also means adversity, which means to go through trials and tribulations. It means anguish. It means to be in distress, to be in straits. It also means to have someone to just vex you with attacks. Glory to God. But I love what David said. The righteous, my God, my God, my God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Now that's what the word trouble means, but there's a little more to this verse because the first part of the verse, David said, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Now we got to take a look at that word delivereth. Glory to God. That word delivereth right there means to snatch out. My God, he'll snatch you out of it. The word delivereth also means to defend. God will defend you against your enemies, against the adversaries. What's this? It also means to rescue. God will rescue you, my friend. It also means to preserve, means that God will keep you. He will guide you. He will protect you. He will watch over you. My God, my God. That's what the Bible says in Psalm chapter 91. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver us from the snares of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. He will cover us with his feathers and under his wings we will trust. His truth will be a shield and a buckler. A thousand will fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come nigh us. So the word delivered means to snatch out, to defend, to rescue, to preserve, and it also means to recover. It means that if you are caught up in the enemy's trap, God will recover you and set you free from out of that thing. Are you listening to me? If you had great losses, God will cause you like in the case of David in 1 Samuel chapter 30, God will cause you to recover all. Like he said in the book of Joel, God will restore unto you the years that the caterpillar and the canker worm has stolen from you. It also means to save. It also means to escape. Like Psalms 124, the snare is broken and we are escaped like a bird out of the snare or the trap of the fowlers. We are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer our foot to be moved. The Lord will preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. Glory to God. So listen to verse 18. The Lord is nigh unto them. He is near unto them that are of a broken heart. And he saves such as be of a contrite spirit. If you are being crushed because of the season that you have been in, because of what you have been going through. Oh, my friend, I got good news for you this morning. You're coming out to the other side. Are you listening to me? God is bringing his people into a new season when he brought the children of Israel. Israel out of Egypt and they crossed the Red Sea and God drowned Pharaoh and his army in it. My God, the Bible says Moses began to sing. Moses began to sing because they had entered into a new season. The old bondage was over. The old chapter was over. The old season was over. God is bringing you into a new season. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 1, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. 
The days of Egypt are over. God's bringing you into, a, into the promised land, a land that's flowing with milk and honey. Listen to verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. That word afflictions right there means calamity. It means displeasure. It means evil or ill favoredness towards you. It means someone put you through grief. They caused you to suffer from hurtful attitudes. They brought harm to you. They brought mischief to you. They brought misery to you. My God, things went from bad to worse. Oh, but like Daniel in the den of lions, God brought Daniel out of the lions and the king promoted Daniel. Daniel caused the laws of the land to be changed because of his faith in God. I stopped by to tell you, I don't care what trouble it is, what afflictions it is that you're going through this morning. God will deliver you out of them all. He is the great I am. He is the king of all kings. He is the Lord of all lords. He is God all by himself and besides him, there is no other. God is on your side. This battle belongs to the Lord. Your seasons are changing. There is a shift. The, the atmosphere is changing. My God, my God, come on and lift your hands to heaven. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God will deliver you out of them all. Glory to God. What a beautiful name it is. Listen, we want to give you an opportunity to support this ministry, to support the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that we are preaching. We are not ashamed of Jesus. We are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. To sow into the ministry or give a donation or offering, you can visit us online right now seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give or you can give through the ministry paypal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries you can also mail in your donations just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011-7442. We love you. We appreciate you greatly. We don't take lightly what you guys are doing and how you are supporting the Lord's work. Never forget, we love you. We appreciate you. We are here for you. We believe in God for your miracle your turnaround. If you didn't have a chance to subscribe to our YouTube channel, this video has been a blessing to you. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button right now. That's the red and white subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen. And after you subscribe, make sure you have your notifications turned on. So every time we upload new videos, you'd receive the notification every time we go live, which we do every Thursday and Sunday night at 7 p.m., you will receive that notification as well. God bless you. We look forward to being with you again on another morning prayer broadcast on tomorrow. That's for me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. God bless you. Take care. We love you. Bye-bye.